Hey everyone, Ramel here. Uh, sorry I didn't get a video out last week. Um, I was in San Francisco for a couple of days and I wasn't able to finish filming and editing um, the video I had planned. I'm still working on the benchmark video, uh, so hopefully I'll have that out next week. Uh, this week I'm just going to be going over some of the issues that I had during and after um, this build. There weren't too many issues during the build, the biggest issue that I had was um, with my RAM. And after switching and getting that replaced, thanks again, Christian, for the help, I was able to boot into the BIOS and get everything set up and ready for the Windows install. Um, I didn't really have any issues with any of the other components. Um, they all seemed to work just fine. The Windows install was pretty painless as well. Um, thanks again, Tim, for hooking that up. Um, I quickly installed Cinebench 20 after I got Windows installed uh, to see what kind of scores I was getting right off the bat. It was pretty impressive as I was getting around 7,000. Uh, previously with my 4670K, I was getting around 1,300. Everything looked like it was working great, and I started to install the drivers as well as all the other programs that I typically install on my computer. Um, and it wasn't until a few days later where I started to notice that um, my temperatures were quite high. Um, they were in the 50 to 60 range. This is typical for Ryzen builds, uh, but for me, I wasn't used to seeing these temperatures, so I thought something was wrong. Initially, I was getting around 38, so I was kind of confused. Um, also, in hardware monitor, I was getting around 1.48 voltage constantly, which was also a little bit worrying because it was getting close to 1.5. Again, that seems pretty reasonable for Ryzen, but it was pretty high um, from what I was used to. A lot of people also suggested taking a look at hardware info 64 instead of hardware monitor. So I downloaded that and again, I was kind of getting the same um, temperatures and voltages. So it was quite high and I didn't really know what was um, going on. I also started to run Cinebench 20 again and this time my scores were barely reaching 6,000. So I was kind of confused because I originally had 7,000 and now I was getting 6,000. I thought something had um, gone wrong. Um, and I didn't really know what to do. I changed a lot of settings in my BIOS, left everything to stock, turning off PBO, setting my power plan to rise and balance, as well as setting it to 5% idle CPU. Um, but none of that worked. This really kept me up at night because I thought I messed something up. And this was a pretty expensive build for me. And I didn't want anything to really go wrong. Um, also, in my build video, you may have noticed that I used the P method to apply the thermal paste. And after doing some research, the chiplets aren't all in the middle. Um, and when you do the P method, it doesn't really cover all of them. So I tried doing the X method as well as adding extra dots here and there, um, thinking that this would fix it because I was expecting a lot lower temperatures, especially with this Dark Rock Pro 4. Um, but after everything booted up again and I went into Windows, um, I was pretty sad because I was getting the same temperatures I was getting previously, around 50 to 60 idle, as well as 1.48 um, volts. Um, it wasn't until I kept reading on Flash R AMD where people were kind of running into the same issues um, where they were getting 50 degrees Celsius idle temperatures as well as high voltage. Many people did reply that um, this was normal for Ryzen um, and it's nothing to really worry about since it is within the rated specs of the CPU. Um, I also read other comments stating that you should only have one hardware uh, monitor running at once so don't have hardware info, hardware monitor and Ryzen all running at the same time because this could make it look like your CPU was um, needing the resources, whereas it's just monitoring it. Um, and then also they said to turn off a lot of the background processes. Um, a lot of the things I installed were pretty lightweight, mostly game launchers and some uh, of the utilities that I use for my peripherals. Um, and then I started closing these. I ran Cinebench and to my surprise, I got 7K. 
and I was kind of confused at this point. Um, I rebooted my computer, ran Cinebench again, and then it was at 6K again, so it was for sure one of the processes. I don't know why I didn't look at this earlier, but when I looked into my task manager, um, I saw that Logitech G Hub was using about 10 to 15% of my CPU, um, keeping, it, uh, keeping it under load, it seemed. Um, so it kept temperatures high as well as the voltage. Uh, so I quickly uninstalled Logitech G Hub. I'm now seeing normal temperatures of around 36 to 39 degrees Celsius idle at around 0.9 to 1.1 volts, which is what I was expecting originally. I ran Cinebench several times and I was able to break 7K, so everything seemed good there. Um, but yeah, if you're experiencing high temperatures with Ryzen as well as high voltage, make sure to check if any of your background processes are using uh, your CPU a lot. Ryzen is pretty aggressive when it tries to compensate, or when it sees that your CPU is on load, it keeps your voltages high uh, to make sure that it's delivering the power that your CPU needs. But for me, I don't think that Logitech G Hub should have been pushing my CPU to a constant voltage of 1.48 volts as well as 50 to 60 idle temperatures, um, which is pretty unreasonable, I think. But after uninstalling and uh, making sure none of my other processes were using that many resources, everything is good. Uh, I'm pretty happy my system's up and running uh, without any problems so far. I have been benchmarking it for the past uh, few weeks now. Um, so I'm just compiling all of that data and hopefully I'll have a video out next week for those who are curious of this 3900X plus 2070 Super as well as how it compared to my previous build um, and to see if it's worth it for you to upgrade. Anyways, that's going to be it for me this week. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Sorry again, I didn't get a video out last week. Uh, hopefully next week I'll have that benchmark video out. Um, but besides that, don't forget to like or subscribe. I'll have more 3900X as well as 2070 Super content out. I also got a few new things. Uh, if you notice on top of my monitor, there's the Logitech C922. So I've been testing some streaming out uh, with this new build as well as I got a new racing wheel, the G29. So I'll be doing a unboxing and quick review of that as well. Anyways, that's going to be it for me this week. I'm out. Peace.